Alright, we're back in with the Verdant Luminaries. Okay. So. Oh. Ambition fulfilled. Uh, deciding that uh, Brunthal is a good place to invest in your efforts, you decide to go uh, to offer the protections of the company and take up any suitable any work suitable to your talents. You act like a gentleman in your dealings with locals and encourage the men to mind their manners while in the settlement. There was all this, there was of course some gri uh, griping at first. Baldoon was sorely disappointed to give up uh, brawling with the farmers, especially uh, the Ver especially with the Verdant Luminary spending so much time in, in Br Brunthal. I think it's Brunenthal. And sorry, and, and my Germanic enunciation is not very uh, good. But you convince the men, uh, the men that having a friendly base of operations is important in your line of work. We will, we will probably never come back. <laughs> We will come back here like once, uh, 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 once every twenty days, maybe, <laughs> as it means getting in better prices on the market and more people willing to join your motley band. It's also much less uh, tiring not having to dodge the militia all the time. You've even enlisted the men to do some small tasks in exchange for nothing but goodwill. I found that little brat that who wandered off and, and dragged him right home. Uh, Baldoon and Braggs quickly out uh, outvade by Zukuri Al-Kazim. I went to the market for the old spinster, split her firewood for winter, and even put out her washing. But I draw the line at rescuing treed cats. Alright. This will help us. So, everyone's in good spirit. We did complete our first uh, first major mission. What was this again? Oh. Herbless Grove. No. No, I, I will not. I will not be doing that. Thank you. Thank you very kindly. I, 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 refer, I refuse. I refrain. That is where people go to die. And I'm, I'm not interested. Thank you very kindly. Um, is there a good price on ammunition? There is. We, we can last nine more days. Risky move. Risky move. All right, back to the city. Up oh, there we go. Got the speed mod and, and uh, working again properly. Working again properly. It was never broken in the first place. I'm just bad at, at, at uh, playing this game. Forward. Mm, nothing here. Food's dwindling. Cash is dwindling. Um, I'm almost a little afraid. <laughs> That's a bad sign. The ruins. Uh, well, maybe they've got some work for me then. I, I doubt that they set that on fire of their own accord. I'm, I'm sure that they've got some work. Uh, okay. Imrad Kellen looks out the window. We both know that brigands and the gods... We both know that brigands and the gods know what else are terrorizing these parts, and they're all quite fond of the roads. After a particularly bad run, my old caravan guard had lost heart for the job. Now I need someone in to watch my shipment. Next one is going out to Brunwald to the north, maybe two days or so from here. Does that sound like the place you'd like to be paid to go? Brunwald. Um, I accept your offer, but I need some time to think about it. Brunwald, 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 two days north. Oh, all the way up there. And it looks like there's a forest right over there. No. <laughs> I'm going that way. But I'd like to not go that way in a long, uh, long box. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, we will refrain. We will refrain, good sir. Oh, th this spe uh, speed hack. So useful. So useful. Uh, simply because... Uh, a lot of this, in this game is just walking when you play the basic game. I cannot recommend in getting this mod enough. Of course, it's, uh, like I said, come, uh, if you get it, you, you probably want to go ahead and get the mod that, you know, stops things automatically. Otherwise, you'll wind up getting yourself killed. You will get killed. You just don't have the reactions to, uh, uh, to stop the game when it's going that fast. And that's intentionally by design. The, the devs, the devs know. Uh, they know how to trap you. A dog is snoring at the feet of Volker uh, of Horum. He leans forward and gently pets the hound behind the ear. I hear you're having a nose for finding people, Sellsword. For 
solving problems. You know, it's true after all. Good, good. I have a task for you, a simple one. Something of great value to me has been stolen. My ceremonial staff, I need you to track down those who stole it, kill them, obviously, and bring back the item. Uh, let's talk about pay. This, so this sounds like something right up our alley. He nods. Yes, good. I was thinking about paying uh, about payment for your task earlier. It's 300 uh, crowns but when the contract is done. All right, accept the offer. All right, this is going to be our first proper fight, I think. I, uh, against against uh, robbers, no less. Oh, battle standard. Wild beasts. Set, let us set out into the wilderness. Uh, okay. So we need to set up another uh, ambition. And honestly, I'm feeling like the battle standard. Battle standard will be immensely useful if we if we come into any uh, problems. Uh, we're probably gonna have to wait until morning. Okay, let's go ahead and just set up for a little bit. And now, uh, game. Okay, I was afraid that we'd have to fight him on a mountainside because fighting on a mountainside can go one of two ways. Now let's go ahead and wait. Um, that's a pretty good, uh, uh, pretty good chance. But let's, we're not going to be moving. We, uh, uh, we've got high ground. Let's wait. Let's wait. Get the spear wall up. Spears and shields. Spears and shields, boys. Nothing to do but uh, get the shield wall up. We're going to uh, exhaust ourselves very quickly this way, but we can probably uh, uh, stand like one attack at the very least. All right, that boosted our chances a little bit. Uh, honestly, this guy. All right, here goes. So far, so good. Uh, stove is headed. Please. Okay, uh, stun this boy. Stun that boy. No such luck. Uh, I will have him wait. Maybe he can in, in pick up in, in some, uh, some hits. And this boy's looking unfavorable. Wait. Wait. There we go. And that is why we use the spear wall. Ooh. And hit him in the noggin. Please. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. This is where things get messy. We have a few options. Uh, we can hit him. We can. Ah, uh, it was worth the uh, the, uh, the attempt. This is where uh, this is where our luck goes to die. Um. Uh, okay. It fractured his skull. Uh, ooh. De depending on how these next few rolls go, we may be out of luck. Stunned him again. We need a kill. We desperately need to kill. Who's next? This boy. All right, and that, and that and debuffed all of them, and got a little bit of pressure off of our boy. Oh, sometimes nine lives just isn't enough. This could be the end. It may be that we just uh, just got bad luck.
Okay. Got one, uh, uh, got one flagging. Um... Let's back up one so uh, so we can go ahead and flank if need be. And oh, this is gonna be bad. This might be it. Oh, but luckily nine lives went ahead and saved him, but that may not mean anything. I said over here. Okay, got him flagging. Now he's still fine, and, and, and but my other boy is fine as well. I think he can win that exchange. Yeah, one downside of uh, one downside of our boy. Yeah. Uh, having nine lives. Oh, he was level two. Mm. But we got some level threes in exchange. Okay. Yeah, one downside of nine lives is that if they survive an attack, that means that and, and that he's going... And, and he's most likely just going to die on the next turn. But and, and during the early game, nine lives is well and near essential. All right. Um, with that in mind, we have fast adaptation, or we have gifted. Those are the two I'm, I'm leaning towards. Gifted would give us another level of skills, but fast adaptation is just such a good perk. So we're going to go with fast adaptation because fast adaptation. You want perks in this game that work for you, even when they're not, even when they're not active. Fast adaptation is one such perk, because if you if you miss your attack. Well, you're immediately going to get 10% 10 uh, to your next attack. And, and if you uh, uh, if you miss that attack, you, you're going to get uh, uh, another 10%. And, and so it really does another thing to cut off uh, bad luck in this game. And bad luck dictates everything. All right. Ah. Uh. I should get toasted in uh, uh, nine lives, but uh, 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 but I don't. I feel like with his current stats, what I need to do is give him gifted instead. Like uh, th uh, this guy could go uh, go places if he gets a good uh, uh, good uh, good range skill. It's a little more risky, but honestly. And honestly, I should go ahead and make sure that he has a decent range defense above above all else. Because the way the AI works, it, it targets the uh, the uh, allies that are easiest to reach. Wait, wait, not that one. Not that one. Yeah, he's nearly got a 60 range skill. Which isn't, isn't amazing, but it's better than most. Yeah, fatigue and range is where he wants. And range, range defense, range defense gets a bad rap in this game's community, and it's understandable why. And because the AI will always target the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, well. First, the AI will target two things: it will target uh, players that it thinks it can kill, and second, it will target players with the lowest range defense. So, uh, range defense is selective. Specifically, you want it on ranged units. And, and because it, allow, it allows you to go ahead and, and uh, keep your ranged units from being targeted, even when they're not, uh, not behind a shield wall. And ideally, they're not going to be in melee at all, so melee defense does no good to them. Now, big thing is... 
Uh, ooh, Baldoon's got a, a cut leg muscle, which means that he's got a minus 40 defense and initiative. That was that was a costly fight. Wait, when did we get as far as loot? I never checked that, did I? Eh. Some decent weapons. Not, nothing to write home about. Got another knife. And let's go ahead and hand uh, hand our boy a uh, a bludgeon. Because honestly, in the back in the back row, what you need is to uh, keep uh, keep people stunned. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, if you get attacked, you need, need to be able to keep people stunned. Three hundred crowns. Uh. Uh, we need to go ahead and get like uh, like it. You, you're actually not a, a bad uh, choice. Where where are we heading? Man and strums a stringed instrument as you walk by. He sla uh, he slashes a ear piercing cord and you turn to, uh, to find him laughing. I thought that uh, mind fed. Uh, I thought that mind fetch your uh, attention. Gisper the younger. And it said he was it said we should keep a lookout for a man of your vocation. If you're looking for work, he's the man to go to. You ask if this his figurehead pays well. The man nods. Yep, he he gave me this here loot as payment once. Now I'm and now I'm just waiting for the old devils to come down and challenge me to a tomb. Is that, is that a reference to the devil came down to jo no, probably something unrelated. Don't don't worry about it. Gisbert uh, the younger said that if if you Gis, uh, Gisbert the younger said that if you best one uh, one in the game song they'll give you a golden loot. Th that is that is a, uh, I've I've never read that in my uh, while playing this game. I have a thousand hours and I've never uh, never never read that while playing. They'll give you a golden loot. Now that's what I call a good payment. Wouldn't you agree? The man turns back into his instrument, uh, drawing a mewing tone from the uh, strings. In the distance, dogs begin to howl. Gisbert the Younger is looking at a poorly drawn map, then looks up as though you were uh, responsible for drawing, for making it. Look, mercenary, uh, this is a strange thing to ask you, but it seems to, uh, it seems you have a good head on your shoulders. See this dark spot? Would you be willing uh, to venture that way and try and find the animator's hideout? Oh, animator's hideout. That's a necromancer. Uh, uh, that's a necromancer's in this place. Oh no. Oh no. How could that happen? Oh no. Uh. It's somewhere around, uh, at or around the uh, in the region of Soulwield. For the right price, we'll find it. Okay, uh, three hundred crowns. I, I accept your offer, but uh, north to the region. North to the region of Soulwield. Okay. This is an interesting thing for me because if I go ahead and take this, it will give uh, give my boys a chance to heal up a bit. And it doesn't require combat, so I can go ahead and keep my numbers as they are right now. How's our how's our pay looking? How's our feed? We're good. Yeah, I say we'd go ahead and take. And there's mountains nearby. There's mountains in that region, so we can probably go ahead and find it relatively easily. I know you're thinking, well, won't mountains make it harder? Strangely enough, no, because you can go ahead and climb to the top of the mountain and get an advantage. I accept the contract. Uh, mm, uh. Repairing all equipment will take 16 hours and nine and nine tools and supplies. You can okay. Okay, we, we've got enough tools and supplies for now, and we'll come back and maybe we'll have a new hire. Oh, not even a day. That was an easy 300 gold. All right. Uh, I don't want really want Anselm. He's okay, but uh, but he doesn't. Uh, uh, can I get like a cheap beggar or something? 
You know, I can go, just go to this next... How much to head to the next village? Steinkai. Steinkai. St <laughs> Stein... Okay. 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 Now. It'll cost 40 gold just to travel there. But it'll allow me to save time and maybe start a contract before night. Yeah, travel by boat is instantaneous, but it gets pro prohibitively expensive as things go along. So let's let's travel there. And do we have any beggars? Hey, we got a cripple. <laughs> Ulrich has has bones the creek and croaked with every step. He explains that he once killed a man, sure, but that he deserved a better fate than the irre irreversible torture he received as punishment. The man looks so weak you can. Almost see his moral coil uh, flapping in the wind. And you know what? Let's hire. Th see this button, the trial button. This is useless. And even if, uh, even if you uh, pay to try him out, it, it, uh, it most it, there's still information that's going to be withheld from you. So there's really no reason to ever use the trial button. I don't know why the devs in implemented it this way, but it's useless. Uh, but yeah, right now I just need a warm body in, in, to go ahead and and, uh, and keep ever uh, keep everyone. In, and, uh, well, basically I just need him to die. <laughs> That's cruel. But, and his primary function is just going in, in to be to not, uh, not die horribly. And, mm, I, I need Baldoon. I need Baldoon. I have to, I have to go ahead and heal him up. I dislike it, but it's, it's what I gotta do. Alright, let's go ahead and give this to one of my, in fact, uh, Boyo, you go ahead and you head over here. You are now on in the flanks. You're a little bit uh, tougher than uh, than uh, than uh, than, uh, than uh, most others. You, on the other hand, you stay in the middle with the rest of our boys. All right, and here's your reinforced flail. And what I need right now, yeah, that's a good price for the cloth. Um, how's food looking? Two more days for and for most of these. Uh, let's go ahead and get a little bit of food. And I won't ever need this axe, or this pickaxe, or these. Yeah, no, and not ideal. Not ideal. And I'll never need this headscarf. It's not going to be useful to me at all. Replacement shields are always going to be necessary. Shields can break in this game. Uh, and I may as well come back after I do a couple missions. Warehouse burned down. Okay, that, that explains why things are a little bit more expensive. Ooh, uh, negotiations. Let's talk money. Uh, dim candles barely light the room enough for you to see. It's it's Bur uh, uh, Burkhard of uh, Stinkai is sitting in, at, behind his desk while his shadows dance and on the walls by the tune of a flickering and uh, flickering. The, the writing in this game is really good, by the way, like unexpectedly so. Would you lend your sword to me if I paid you good coin? I need a small chest delivered safely to Anton the Merchant in Kalberg. About a day east traveled here. Men have killed each other over this, so you must be ready to defend it with your life. He takes a pause and is measuring your response. I'll write a sealed letter with instructions to pay you as delivered and as you deliver the item to my contact in Kalberg. What do you say? Uh, let's talk money. 150 new crowns. Uh, we'll accept it, but and, and after another contract, perhaps. Dust covers his Burkhard's... Uh, Burkhard of Stink Eyes table. I'm just going to call it Stinky. And, and dust covers his Stinky's table. <laughs> there is but a, uh, a... There is a spot of... Uh, there is a spot oddly clean in there than the rest. He gestures to it. This is where my idol of fertility used to sit. If you couldn't tell, it's gone. You nod. It does appear to be missing. The thieves who took it should be easy to track down. They're good think they are good thinkers in the night, those brigands. But they mistake a plenty. But they make mistakes a plenty during the day. Footprints, crowns ill spent. 
You should be able to track them down with ease. He looks at you with a stern eye. Do you understand, mercenary? I want you to get my property back. I want it to be placed right where it belongs. And I want those thieves dead in the mud. Okay, let's talk about pay. I think I know an adequate compensation for your services. You are to receive 250 crowns when the contract is done. We'll accept the offer, but that that is a very poor offer. That is a very poor offer. The, the, if I if I encounter a a, 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 a bunch of brigands during the you know if I encounter raiders during this, I'm gonna be angry. I'm gonna be mad. Never eat sour worm this way. Where are they? Oh, okay, they're they're down here. I was getting concerned. Okay, there are the thieves, and we got them just before nightfall. Many brigand thugs. Fortunately, they are poorly poorly armed. So, Ooh, I made a, I may have made a mistake. I may have made a mistake, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. All right, we're, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can give him, give this boy some in defense. We're gonna we're gonna readjust some stuff. Wait. We're gonna see if we can get uh, get this boy up and out of the way. There we go. Hopefully, th this will not get him killed horribly. And who is the uh, most dangerous right now? Honestly, this brigand thug right here looks like uh, looks pretty dangerous. I really need a better uh, crossbow. All right, here goes. Nasty, 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 nasty. Uh, please kill him. Please, please, please. Yes! Okay, and they're already flagging. Missed. Stun? Stun, please. Excellent. And... No good. There we go. Let's see here. Who do I kill first? Maybe if I... Yes! Oh, lucky me. I got a headshot. That could have gone so wrong. Oh, and luck is on my side tonight. All right. Now, the real trick is going to be finishing these guys off before anything unfortunate happens. And let's get him over here so they have a hard time running. Stun? Excellent. Never underestimate the value of maces. There we go. They're all running. Despite my mistake, th this turned out better than the last battle. Quite fortunate. There we go. Go ahead and close them off. Make sure that they can't run. Yep, run them down. I'm not going to waste an arrow on you. There we go. Oh, and we, uh, we got a bot gambeson, a short sword. Not bad, not bad. And did we and, and take any injuries? This boy took an injury. Death wish. Oh. And, 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 see, this is good because as, as he doesn't uh, he doesn't. Uh, 
Uh, uh, death wish. I'm not dead yet. This character doesn't care about uh, receiving injuries and will fight, uh, fight on regardless. No morale uh, check triggered upon uh, losing hit points. You see, that's good because is that uh, that is a, a very powerful, uh, 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 powerful uh, 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 trait. All right. Um. Well, I guess. Well, one of these is uh, botch Gamerson should go to a uh, level three. Who here is a level three? Uh, seventy. Fifty. You no, know you get this one, and you get this one, and you get this one. Yeah, everyone's got a slight upgrade in armor now. Uh, and I'm and I'm really liking the fast adaptation. Cutting the head off of RNG it really really helps you in the long run. All right. Uh, let's see. Maximum fatigue. Attack. And let's give him a, a bit of resolve. Man, we're not getting very much in the way of me melee defense. Melee defense is very important. Alright. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and head back to uh, Stinky. This is going exceptionally well. Burkhart of uh, Stinky grin, uh, grins as you enter. Sell swords, sell swords. Will you sell me word of your success? You take out the artifact and place it on the table. Sure. The man jolts forward in his, in his chair and takes the, the animal away. He turns back at you, calming himself uh, for turning his composer. You did good. And very good. 250 crowns, as promised. He hands me the sack of coins. All right. Um, We have enough. Yeah, let's go ahead and give a round to everybody. And this is a two-star contract. Almost no reason to even take it. Yeah. No reason. Uh, no reason to take it. Uh, let's go ahead and day east, Kallenberg. Yeah, let's take this to Kallenberg. A lot of back and forth. A very, a very common element of this game. A lot of back and forth. All right. Uh, our food is not bad. We got eight more days worth of food. We can get a little bit of fish on the cheap. Let's go ahead and do that. Just realize we haven't found mm, nets. Nets. I like nets. Net and nets can uh, can change the course of a battle. But I don't know if we, ha we can afford them right now. Uh, healing in between three and five medical costs. Okay. Uh, we we've got plenty of medicine. We got plenty of that. Uh, we got plenty of tools and supplies. But tools aren't uh, un unreasonably priced here. Yeah, and early on, and, and just is getting and getting enough money to survive is is the uh, real challenge. All right, what do we got here? Wait, why did we stop? Oh, did I misclick? You finally made it, and Anton the merchant stands there in the middle of the road. His hands clasped over his stomach, a slick grin on his cheeky, uh, cheeky face. The cell sword. I was not sure you'd make it. You lugged the cargo up and handed it over. Oh yeah? Why do you say that? The man takes the box and, and hands it, it off to a robe man, who quickly hurries away with it tucked under an arm. Anton the merchant laughed as he hands you a statue of crowns. The roads are rough these days, are they not? You understand he's making small talk. Anything to get your attention off the cargo you just handed over. Whatever, whatever, you got your pay. That's good enough for you. Brown's well deserved. All right. What we got, what we got, what we got, 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 what we got, 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 what we got, got, got. Um, ooh, tools are very well priced here. 
Uh, oh, wooden sticks. Wooden sticks don't seem that valuable, but they are in fact very helpful. What I don't like is is that I don't have, have uh, any missions here. Um, and we only have six hundred crowns. Better use them wisely, as opposed to foolishly, you know. I suppose I shouldn't be too uh, surprised that the tools are in, are uh, in good standing. There is a, a surface iron vein here. That's another thing I forgot to mention. And what a town has near to it often dictate often dictates its price. Its prices. So this one used to have have a uh, and like another a couple of, of, of iron deposits, but uh, that one burned got burned down. So we'll have to wait for it to be repaired, if ever, if ever it gets repaired. Uh, Shansburg. One day I'll have to go ahead and check over here in Shansburg. They may have a, a, a kennel, and dogs are invaluable during the early game. No contract still. That's not good. That is not good at all. Contract? Ooh. Well... Driving off brigands from uh, from um, a uh, from a location for three hundred coins, too risky, too risky. It could it could go very badly for us. On the other hand, it's nighttime now. If we move out, we might be able to find the uh, we might be able to reach a mountaintop by the time. Mm, yeah. Uh, Okay, this could it could be bad, but we need to go ahead and use some of our food anyway. There we go. Okay, we lucked out. We found it with a li uh, little issue. Okay. And honestly, we could use another quiver bolts. Just so our boy doesn't run out of arrows. You'd be surprised how, uh, how easily you run out of uh, bolts in this game. And we're probably never going to use this short sword. Let's be real. Uh, the Guten Dog? Mm, I don't think we're ever going to use the Guten Dog. And we got uh, got three uh, makeshift armors. How's our boys' in his helmets looking like? Not bad, not bad. And by not bad, I mean terrible. But it's the best we got for now. Now, wine, wine is a, a decent and uh, luxury item when it's fairly priced. If you can find a place that uh, that wants to buy it, you can you can trade for a fair amount. It's difficult because it is perishable, and perishable items are always is, uh, losing value. It's been a new day. Maybe Brunthal's got something for me. Why? Is you find uh, uh, you find in Berto and the treasure flipping through the tomes. Dust flutters with every page. She speaks without looking up. The town has collected payment for you to stay the night. Grinning, you ask if there's a, is a free meal with that. The man slowly closes the book. He looks at you rather plainly, as if you had said nothing at all. There's a fear of bizarre monsters afoot. Things that feed on dreams. No, 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 no. <laughs> I thought it an air of superstition, but they came to me last night, and I stared into its eyes. As I awoke in the attic, uh, praying to Davkul. What is a Davkul? Gods know not what is going on, but I shall sure hope you take this offer. Stay through the night or two, and see we've more than rumors to fear about. No. No. 
No, no. How many crowns? 710. No, I accept your offer. In the nightmare is, is, is haunting Bruntal's uh, at night. No, I need some time to think about it. No, I, I know what that is, but I don't want to talk about them yet until uh, until we are forced to deal with them. But that's a that's a bad contract. That's a bad contract for uh, for this early on. That's the kind of contract that gets you killed this early on. It's what we call double plus ungood. Man, no no contracts. No contracts to speak of. Let's go ahead and see if we can head into uh, Stinky. Okay. A servant bids you to wait and, and, and on for hack on the trade master who says and we'll be right with you and so you wait and wait and wait and finally you are about to leave for the second time hack on the trade and master throws open the door and rushes towards you who is this again the mercenary his assistant run nods and hack on the trade master sets a smile almost fortuitous to have you in stink in stink eye good captain it's impressive that uh, uh, that some precious commodities of mine oh it's imperative that some precious commodities of mine reach Finnstow Wilder as safely as po and quickly as possible. You are precisely who I need, for no common brigand would dare attack you and your men. Yes, I'd like to hire you as an escort. Make sure the items are delivered and to Gustav the Wise. No, course, uh, no detours, of course. Can we come to an understanding? Okay, let's talk money. 150 crowns. Uh, let's accept the offer. Two days northeast by road. Finsterwald. Where is Finsterwald? Where is the Finsterwald? Oh, there is the Finsterwald. That is a good hike, but... Okay, I dislike this for a couple of reasons. One. One. That's going to take us past a lot of trees. That's like a lot, a lot of trees. And, and and that looks like a lot of choke points for uh, for bandits. Two, once I get up there, that is not a favorable place. It's not as bad as the north, but that is not a favorable location because of all the trees. There are go there are going to be uh, there are going to be so many things that are just going to leap out of the woods at night and possibly kill us. But we don't seem to have much choice. We need the money. So we're going to go ahead and accept a contract. All right. Five brigands. Brigand raiders. Hmm. No. Wait. Uh, let's go ahead and slow down, at least for a little bit. There's a supply caravan. We can make, make some steady progress while uh, while we wait. Supply caravans are uh, are guarded by actual uh, by actual guards. All right, dawn's here. We can uh, we can get moving again. Up oh, brigands, some brigand raiders. How many are we talking? See what I was talking about? Maybe if we're... Oh! Look at this! Look at how many brigands we, uh, uh, we've got to contend with. Oh! And we got... Uh, we brought the guards into it. Excellent! Excellent! That is good news. Okay, our first priority is to, uh, to survive the first wave. Oh, <laughs> see what I was talking about, range defense? They always go after the guys with the, uh, the, uh, the worst range defense.
And let's go ahead and use these boys as a, as a nice defense. Yeah, this should be safe. That's what I'm going to tell myself. There we go. And... Let's go ahead and throw you up... How, how far back in the turn order are you? Nine turns, twelve turns. Okay. Let's throw you up here where you're going to be relatively safe. Now you may ask yourself, why did I choose to, uh, to take uh, take this if uh, if I was just going to hide behind the caravan? Very simple. This allows me to snipe some kills. Okay. And just like that, we uh, we've already made uh, made money. Even if one of our boys die, which I think is unlikely, we're, we're going to be good for it. Alright. There we go. And let's go ahead and make a bad day for this boy. There we go. That, uh, that, that, uh, it, that, uh, that did multiple things. First of all, that made him break immediately. Secondly, that gave him a pierced arm muscle, which means that even if he attacks, he's unlikely to hit, I think. It's either a minus to hit or a minus to damage, one of the two. Um, how are we looking? Let's go ahead and get, in, uh, get into position. We'll wait here. Yeah, the, the the big thing you have to worry about with uh, uh, with uh, brigands are these guys, the brigand raiders. As soon as the brigand raiders start showing up, that's when the game in, in stops in stops playing around. There we go. Got him flagging. And we'll wait a little while longer. Up, oh, that's him dead. Yeah, right now, right now it's a free for all for loot. Ooh, that was a bad. Uh, that was a miscalculation on my part. I got greedy. That was a big mistake on my part. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. Okay, everyone's flagging now. Uh, 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 time to get our uh, time to get uh, get our treasure. And there we go. And hopefully we can go ahead and snipe this kill. Yes! Probably gonna get some valuable loot out of that. Even one uh, one raider uh, can, can 
The armor of one raider can completely change the course of, uh, of a playthrough. But as you can see, it, it, these guards are it, it are proper tough. Now, ah, there we go. Uh, only one level up, but a level up is better than none at all. 150 gold. That uh, that right there uh, 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 increased our profits by 50 percent. Some dried fruit that will last uh, 10 days. A dagger and a uh, two-handed mallet. Two-handed mallets are okay because they're they're good against damage. They're they're good against armor, not good against damage. English, English. All right. We'll work the fearless. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and increase his resolve first. We don't need him breaking, and his health. And I'm honestly caught between melee skill and fatigue. Honestly, his fatigue isn't too bad, so we'll increase his melee skill. And definitely needs nine lives. De definitely needs nine lives. And what did you get out of that? Fractured, uh, uh, fractured ribs. We'll heal in four days. Minus 30 fatigue. Not the worst, but definitely not, uh, not good. All right. And you also get a here. You get this shiny new dagger as compensation for your uh, for your efforts. All right. Got to be really uh, really careful when going through here. There are so many check uh, choke points. I wouldn't be surprised if, if more bandits it's just show up out of the blue. In fact, I'm anticipating it. Let's go ahead and stop by Brunewald first. Stop by Brunewald, see if we can and, and, uh, pick anything up or sell anything. Ooh, they've got dogs. They've got dogs. Um, what can I... I want those dogs. Um, food. Six more days for food. We're good for food right now. Uh, there's no healing house, so we don't need to worry about that. They don't have. They have a, a falcon, but a, a, falcons are good for you know, discovering, in, for like opening. They're good for revealing where enemies are in the fir uh, first round, but beyond that. Um, let's see here. What, what kind of dogs you got? Do you have Northern Warhounds? You do not. Mmm. This would be expensive, but having a, a war dog... Having a war dog can, uh, could mean the difference between life and death. Legitimately, it, it could it'd alter everything. 13 more days. Okay. Nine more days. We'll, we'll get two war dogs. Four more days. All right. And we'll go ahead and give these to our boys on the right. We don't want to get too many dogs. I believe it's uh, dogs over three. Uh, we need a hound master. Because if you're going to field a lot of dogs, you need to go ahead and offset the, uh, the negative uh, effects. Uh Great. Beautiful. I hope I don't get caught by brigands. Okay, just stick to the caravan. Stick to the caravan and everything will be okay. Is he going this way? Is he going that way? All right. Did the brigand stop uh, uh, stop following us?
Yeah, it looks like they went back. Yep, they're the brigands. Get off the road. Get off the road. Take a shortcut. All right. To Finsterwald. 500 crowns. All right. Not bad. <sighs> All right. And how's food looking? Six more days. Not bad, but I'm not comfortable with it either. Let's get a little bit more food just in case. What kind of contract you're offering? And Albert, the steward, and it's got a satchel with a scroll attached, but the name written on the paper is not yours. He weighs it carefully. Lumps of coins is curving about his fingers. They're chink and, and chank muted. He turns to you. You recognize that name? You shake your head, and, and the man continues. A week ago, we sent some, uh, uh, sent the famed Sir Eaglebird and of here, uh, of here to go hunt down some foul beasts and that have been terrorizing the town and surrounding farmstead for weeks. Do you know why the satchel has remained in my hands? You sure... Uh, you sure can answer, because he hasn't returned? Adelbert, the steward, nods and sets the satchel down. He sits on the edge of uh, the, his... He sets it on the edge of his table. Correct, because, because he has not returned. Now, why do you think that is? I think it's because he is dead, but let's not be so negative. I think it's because the beasts out there require more. I think they require someone like you, Sellsword. Would you be willing to help, uh, help us now that this noble man has failed? What is it worth to you? Uh, okay. It, so, uh, it's going to be a, three, a 300 gold coin contract. I am not going to take it, though. I am not going to take it, because it is most likely either dire wolves, or it is, is uh, it, or it is webnecks. Either one is bad. And now I know that this is just Bandit Alley right here. This is just Bandit Alley right here. So I'm going to uh, work, uh, work my way back south, if I can manage it. Yep, there are the brigands again. Militia doesn't care, apparently. Alright. What's here in Weston House? Uh, you come across a man leaning against the, uh, against the porch post. He hails you down. Windwreck of Watson House has been looking for you, Sellsword. He's, he's down yonder in the val uh, village communal. The stranger nods towards a large building a little ways along the road. I hope you uh, you do good, mercenary. The people in Watson House are uh, uh, where are wary of your sort, but that don't mean their hearts uh, can't be won over. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. We are not doing a two skull escort tr uh, quest. That is suicide. Uh, I want to go ahead and check on in, in Summerstad, but I can't do it at night because, uh, because, uh, well, because they'll kill me. That, that, just as simple as that, really. So instead, we're going to go ahead and slowly work our way south. And hopefully Daybreak it, it, uh, reveals any bandits along the way. Never, ever, 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 go through a location at night that has trees. Up there are the brigands. There be the brigands. Maybe we can bait them somewhere. Maybe we can bait them into Burnwald? Of course, if the, uh, if no one comes out to help us, uh, uh, we're dead. Oh, goody! Speaking of being dead... That place, this entire area is just a death trap. This entire area, just a death trap. 
That, that trading caravan that went past with 11 people, that's not going to be enough. They are dead. Why are there so many bandits here? They're positioned all over the place. You can see what I said about, uh, about uh, taking it slow. Because if you move too fast, you wind up dying. I'm going to stay down here where there are a few trees. Trading caravan. Now, us by ourselves, pro uh, probably not going to uh, 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 make it. But with the trading caravan nearby, we might be able to make some, uh, some quick gold. And get some battle experience. Yep, seven brigands. Three dire wolves. Why are there three dire wolves? Did they take care of the brigands? Not quite. And can I bring you into my in misery? Yes, I can. All right. So we've got many, many brigand thugs, a few... Uh, okay, we can do this. We can absolutely do this. Let's go ahead and wait a turn. Wait a turn. All right. And they've got indebted, so they make for better, uh, better targets than us. And let's go ahead and, and get uh, get some uh, high ground here. We'll see if we can uh, make good on surrounding them. All right, they've uh, they've engaged. That change uh, that changes how things proceed from here. And let's go ahead and injure you a little bit. I don't like the look of that pickaxe. Pickaxe pickaxes aren't a horrible danger, but they are dangerous enough. You'll you'll find that's very often in the. Uh, that's very often how uh, how these games are calculated. They're they're dangerous enough. All right, and. Now, hopefully, we should be able to make some uh, some kills. Let's fire on you. Ah, oh, I, I was hoping that I'd, I'd like just barely miss or something, and it would wind up hitting the other guy as a result. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't want to ri uh, risk attacking. Oh, he came to me. Thank you. And let's go ahead and let uh, the dog out. There are some inherent risks, but uh, uh, but having the dog out uh, it, uh, mitigates some of them. All right. Okay. And honestly, I don't want to destroy his headgear because that's valuable to me. There we go. Yeah, we've got one kill, so already this was is worth it. Unless we like suffer a serious injury. 
I'm hoping we don't. Alright. Yeah, they're starting to flag and fail, so now's the time to start getting greedy. Yep, case in point. Uh, who do I want to try to hit with this? Who do I want to try to hit with this? Oh well. Ah, missed again. There we go. Yeah, it, 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 this game is really big into uh, win more mechanics. If you win a little, you're going to win a lot. And... I don't really uh, dare to, uh, to take any shots, Sim uh, simply because uh, uh, I I can't uh, do it without uh, without risking my own guys. Didn't get as much uh, uh, as much of the good gear as I would have liked out of this, but. Let's see, who else? Alright. Got some uh, got some good loot out of that, a hundred coins. That right uh, that right there. And the experience. Maybe we can go ahead and find ourselves a uh, those brigands that uh, that uh, that chased us. Did they go back to their starting position? Looks like there was a battle, so I doubt it. All right. Yeah, this, this is looking a lot better for us. Mind you, we are uh, we are down in some food. All right, and I'm expecting and, and the brigands to like immediately respawn, so I need to be careful on the roads. Case in point. Case in point. Nine brigands. Some brigand thugs and a few brigand poachers. Supply caravan. If we... Oh no. Oh no. Okay, uh, this has turned out exceptionally pa badly. Um, run? Okay, today we're going to learn about the retreat button. And the retreat button is what you press when you want to die. Okay, so, I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news. The good news is... The good news is that we can escape this. The bad news is we're going to have to sacrifice a dog uh, uh, a dog or two in order to do it. This is uh, this is why dogs are valuable. Um yeah. Not what I want, but it's what I have to do. Again, again, we're playing on uh, on uh, Iron Man mode. So if these dogs don't uh, uh, don't save me, I'm gonna wind up losing men. That slowed them down barely at all.
All right. Okay. And that, and I got the, uh, the fastest ones off my back. So that might be enough to go ahead and get us out of here. I can only hope. Yeah, you have to manually retreat or you're, uh, you're going to wind up uh, losing people. Yeah, that by itself was costly, but that uh, those dogs may have sp uh, spent us, uh, uh, saved us uh, enough to uh, get us out of here. Above all else, you, you cannot waste a single step. And you, as soon as you guys see the exit, you know, you, as soon as they're like within in leap, uh, within in a distance of just hopping, you go ahead and, and you press the button and get them out of there ASAP. All right, now we can press the button. And they're not even going to bother, uh, uh, try, uh, well, not much. So we lost two dogs. But we survived. I got greedy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a lesson in greed. Alright, let's get to a town and go ahead and wrap this up. But I wasn't wrong. The, do uh, the dog saved us. Maybe we can go ahead... Oh, the brigands aren't following anymore. Yeah, that was a wash. That was a wash. All right, let's get uh, get our uh, spears back up. No one's injured, and honestly, we we still have some good equipment that I haven't uh, uh, equipped yet. Okay, what else is there? Uh, is there anything I want to sell? I suppose I can go ahead and sell uh, the weakest, uh, the weakest armors. And I don't think we'll need another spear, not for a while anyway. Um, I don't think we'll need any bows. I don't like bows. I, I prefer, I prefer, uh, um, I prefer what do you call it? I prefer. Crossbows. I prefer crossbows. I find they're, they're generally more useful. And the two-handed mallet, honestly, by the time we're going to be able to use two-handed weapons, we're going to find something better. So we'll sell that for now. And food. Six more days of food. Fish is a little pricey. All right. Any contracts? Ooh, another delivery contract. Burkhardt of Instinct Guys shoves a sizable crate into your hands before he or you even say a word. Look at that. The cargo I need and delivered has already found someone to ship it off. What a wonder. He drops to the theatrics. I need to take. I need that taken to Finsterwald, where a man by the name of Gustav the Wise is waiting. Not Finsterwald! No! No, not Finsterwald! I'm willing to pay good crowns to be sure it gets there safe and sound. You interested, or is it a little too heavy in your arms? How many crowns? Uh, 600. We'll accept the offer. Uh, no. No, uh, not, uh, uh, not a caravan in quest. All right. I mean, we can we can and, and save a day by going up to Stovehold, and we can and circumvent those... Uh, Uh, a hundred coins. No, that would save time. 
Okay. Then I'll go ahead and accept this quest, despite my better judgment. Actually, let's go ahead and sail into Horum first. Worst case scenario, we're down 100 coins. I think we can spare that. Up oh, brigands. Up, oh, they, they want me to drive up brigands. No! You know what? I am going back. I am going back. Bad use of funds, but whatever. We got 120 crowns in advance, so... We can go ahead and spend uh, spend the time next time traveling in up the plains during the night and then rushing through here during the day because I will not I will not go through here at uh, at night that is that is death this entire uh, this entire uh, 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 just uh, Z section is just bandit alley just this entire area right through here bandits as far as the eye can see all right. That's all the time I have for now. See ya. Bye.